Welcome back to the Nintex Workflow Cloud and Microsoft Flow comparison video series. In this scenario, we're setting up a form to onboard vendors to provoke. Here you can see we've outlined the process in ProMap to ensure that we build the same thing in Nintex Workflow Cloud and Microsoft Flow. For those unfamiliar, ProMap is lightweight, easy to use, and designed for collaboration among various stakeholders throughout an organization. As of Q1 2019, Nintex has shared a preview that will allow you, from within ProMap, to create a Nintex workflow with just the click of a button. For those reasons, we've chosen to use this product over other options, like Microsoft Visio. In the first step, the vendor manager emails a form to be filled out by the vendor. This form collects contact information from the vendor, as well as billing details for payments. Submission of this form initiates the workflow. Once the form is submitted, the procurement team, based on their knowledge of the vendor and the work that will be performed, assigns a vendor's security risk level, either high, medium, or low. This level will determine what documentation is required to move forward with the vendor, such as NDAs, security policy agreements, SLAs, etc. The procurement team is also able to view contact details, in case something was entered incorrectly, and enters the Salesforce account name for everything to be automatically updated. They can also leave comments for the legal team in case there's ambiguity to the risk level. In the next step, CRM, in this case Salesforce, is automatically updated with the captured contact and billing details. Accounts Payable is sent an email with the billing details, as their system is separate from Salesforce. DocGen is used to create the documents required with the company name from the initial form and based on the risk level assigned to the vendor in step two of the process. While Nintex has DocGen built in, Microsoft Flow requires the use of third-party applications to do this process. For ease of this demo, and to avoid the inconvenience of hooking up one more service, we'll just assume that the documents are created off-camera to be used in the workflow. Once the documentation is created, it will be sent to the legal team for review and approval. A state machine will be used to allow back and forth communication between procurement and legal in case there are questions prior to sign off. Adobe Sign will be used for both platforms to send the document to the vendor for signature. A reminder email will be sent to the vendor to check in if the documents are not signed in a certain amount of time. A task is set for the vendor manager to set up a meeting with the vendor and provide training resources or videos. With Nintex Workflow Cloud, we'll use the Nintex mobile app to send the training videos to the vendor. With Microsoft Flow, we'll just send the vendor an email with links to the videos they need. If it's determined that remote monitoring and management is necessary for this vendor, then a checklist of work items will be passed to the IT department. These might include backup configurations, domain management, password changes, etc. The last step is for the vendor manager to follow up with the vendor to ensure they've completed their training. Now we'll just let our experts slam through their form creation for a few moments at super speed. We'll be putting together the form in Nintex Workflow Cloud first, then switch over to the creation of the form in Microsoft Forms. With Nintex Workflow Cloud, we create and send the form, collect the data, and act upon that data all in the same product, which makes this whole effort much easier for the folks tasked with building it all out. Here you can really see how Nintex Workflow Cloud's intuitive drag and drop function for building these forms really shines. It's quick, logical, and with the workflow building that you'll see in the next video, easy to view in its entirety. Because everything lives in a single spot, viewing your work all up is easy. We'll let our expert finish building out this form and then we'll move on to Microsoft Forms. You might notice that we're already out of Microsoft Flow right out of the gate. An issue we ran into immediately with Microsoft Flow, and that you should notice on the screen, is the necessity of introducing yet another product to the mix to create our forms. Microsoft Forms is used to create the form to collect the data that is then utilized in Flow. We could have used Power Apps, but because of the need for an external user to use the form to kick off the workflow, Power Apps becomes impractical. Video 3 is where we'll tackle building the actual workflows in Intex Workflow Cloud and Microsoft Flow. Thanks again for watching.